The violence in the Central African Republic escalated to a whole new level on Monday when Jean-Emmanuel Jarawa, a member of the Transitional Assembly meant to guide the country to elections next year, was shot near his home in Bangui after he made a speech calling for the anti-Balaka militias to be confined to barracks. No one has claimed responsibility for his killing. We need to stop the troublemakers, especially those claiming to be anti-Balaka. And we know that they are among the looters, thugs and criminals. And that is clear today from our efforts. Religious leaders have also stressed the need for the violence plaguing the country to come to an end. Three daylight lynchings were reported last week, and thousands of Muslims have tried to flee to neighboring Chad and Cameroon. The anti balakas actions are not Christian at all. I have said this loud and clear for the media. It is not sanctioned by the church. We have no right to put religion at the center of a crisis, at the center of suffering of a population. So right now, we call on everyone today so that we can truly raise our voice to say no more to this crisis and live together. Jarawa's death is a blow to interim president Catherine Samba Panza, the former mayor of Bangui, who was appointed last month promising to end the cycle of violence. Muslims in the capital are now confined mostly to the PK-12 neighborhood in Bangui's north. Many are desperate to join others who have fled the country. Maria Galang, CCTV.